Gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Sol Zero Mars Colonization. My name, of course, is Obdato. Today we're launching a big rocket, and you know what's going to be special about this big rocket is we're going to have four colonists with us. Four colonists with us. That is very, very exciting indeed. Uh, we're also going to take literally the maximum amount of food we can. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of water as well to tide us over. That should be fine. And the rest in supply crates. There's nothing else that we need super, super urgently right now. I'm more concerned about the whole getting to Mars thing and uh, and not having the ability to do what we want to do. So let's launch. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, everything is going to go fine. By the way, my name is Obi Potato. I hope I mentioned that. I can't really remember if I did. I hope I did. So that's why I'm mentioning it again, just to make sure that you know. All right. I'm sort of nervous of what's going to happen. I'm I'm skeptical that we're going to be successful with this whole uh, with this whole colonist thing. Population is too low to support the colony. Unloading colonist. Good. Hopefully the oxygen levels should be fine. Unloading colonists 3 out of 4. That's good. Unloading colonists 4 out of 4. Is our population still too low to support the colony? No, it's not. It's fine. Our population is fine to support the colony. We're losing 4 food per second. That means we need 2 more greenhouses. Uh, that's actually easily doable. However, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make sure that we build one greenhouse. Uh, you are going to complete that. Please. Please complete it. Yes. Okay, over there. That's fine. Complete it. Get a brand new greenhouse. Uh, we can open the doorway to it as well. Fingers crossed it works. It's got low oxygen, so hopefully the colonist doesn't die. I wouldn't put it past them, to be honest. Colonists are remarkably stupid. They tend to go in places where they're really not supposed to. Uh, however, now the population is too low to support the colony. Great. It looks like we need more colonists pretty much immediately. That's uh, that's really, really worrying. That's very, very worrying indeed. And also, it's probably worth noting that we really don't have the oxygen generators that I would like to have. I mean, we would like to have more oxygen generators, but we'd also like to have more colonists. So, I suppose there's a lot more of stuff to want, really, isn't there? Hey-ho. Um... Do you want to send this Mars lander home? Not really. I don't really care about these things. I mean, you know, it's gonna it's gonna happen eventually. There's no point in. Uh, oh no, where's the meteor shower gonna be? Uh, if you destroy a methane tank, that's bad, but it's not the end of the world. Crippled part of the colony. That's not really crippling. I'll be honest with you. That's kind of all right, actually. I really don't care that much. I'm afraid. Yeah, it's it's fine actually. Um. Okay, we've got 9 kilowatts free. That's that's nice. Let's go and build another another food area so that we can actually be self-sustaining in regards to food, which is very very nice actually. I did not expect us to be as self-sustaining as we uh, as we are at this stage in the game. Uh, we ideally want to be getting more colonists. Obviously, that's going to be delayed uh, by the fact that we now, you know, have a have a rocket that's going to be here for longer, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. Can we still get past here? I don't think we, we... We don't really need to get past here. There's nothing... There's nothing in this area that's super valuable. I mean, we can obviously go, like, the long way around and whatnot, but we don't really need to get around there. It's not, uh, not of real concern for us. I was thinking about putting an oxygen generator in there, potentially. I mean, just so that, uh, we're fine for oxygen and whatnot, but... It's, it's, it's potentially worth it. I mean, this oxygen generator looks like it's doing a fairly good job of supplying pretty much the entire base right now which is actually kind of impressive like I'll be honest with you it's it's very impressive maybe maybe this is going to be the the straw that broke the camel's back potentially uh, with the addition of this greenhouse we we might have some issues with it I mean 14% oxygen is not bad Me where is another meteor shower oh thank god that's that's in a place that is uh, not important solar panel needs repair and maintenance all right, get over there and fix it, because if our solar panels uh, break down, then we are in a little bit of trouble. And I don't mean a little bit of trouble, I mean a fair amount of trouble. All right, good. So, status report. Food, we're doing fine for it. We're, we're breaking even with food. That's nice. Um, water support, we're gaining 3.4 a turn. Absolutely tons. 
absolutely tons. Uh, completely not worried about it. Not worried about it at all. The fact that our population is too low to support the colony, that worries me. That worries me greatly. Um, because we really don't need that. And, you know, that can lead to some pretty unexpected things happening. And when unexpected things happen, j just bad things. Bad things. So many bad things. So many darn bad things. I, I want to build another oxygen generator. I feel that this oxygen generator is doing you know, a very, very important job, but if it goes down, then we're basically in trouble. So, can we build one in here? I know what people are going to say. It's like, oh yeah, it's inaccessible and whatnot, but it's really not inaccessible. If we can, uh, if we can manage to get that... No, we can't manage to get that over there. Okay, so where do we want to build it then? Where, where do we want to build it? I, I don't really know. I mean, can we put it here? We can put two auction generators over here, but that's... That's that's quite close proximity to, to one another. I mean, probably be more efficient to have them in different locations uh, rather than rather than the same location. Solar panels need repair and maintenance. Please fix that. Just fix the solar panel. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Mr. Astronaut. Hmm. What we can do? Well, for now, while we while we think on our uh, on our plight, we can build another pallet over here so that. Uh, so that this dude can unload all of his supply crates. Happy days. Happy days. Solar panels need repair and maintenance. Fine. I'm okay with that. We, we've we got beds for 12 colonists. Or 12 people, theoretically. Uh, we actually only have 6 beds in the place, but obviously we've got beds on. Uh, can we even see where we've got beds? Oh, where's the hallway with low oxygen? That hallway's got low oxygen. Huh. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we are needing another, another, another oxygen generator. Next launch available. Uh, I would like to, I would like to do that launch. I'll be honest with you. Solar panels need repair and maintenance. Do we want to just go ahead and launch another astronaut? I think, you know, I think another astronaut would be, would be just fine. I think, in fact, maybe, maybe two astronauts, as crazy as it sounds. I mean... The food shouldn't really be too much of a problem. We're going to establish some more greenhouses anyway. So I don't think that should be too much of an issue. And this will help with our with our population issue. So yeah, you know what? I think this is not the craziest idea, even though it sounds like it. Not the craziest idea in the slightest. Um, Yeah, let's launch. It's only going to take us six supply crates, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's more the astronauts that we really, really need. Obviously, the fact that we're going to be down for food or whatever, that's slightly annoying. That's that's really slightly annoying. But I think uh, I think I can learn learn to live with that for the entirety of the 10 seconds or whatever that, uh, that it needs to be like this for. Select the landing site. Oh, I don't want to select over there. I don't want to select over there either. Over here? Yeah, over there. That's fine. Pop the astronaut out. Pop both of them out. Okay, so we are minus... Minus four food now, which is annoying. But as I've already said, it's not the end of the world. Right, now can we can we build a four-way hallway over here? And then can we build another greenhouse? Because that would be the ideal situation uh, if we can do that. If we can't do that, we're going to have to rethink our our master plan a little bit. But meh, I'm, I'm sort of hopeful. I'm sort of hopeful. Okay, um... In fact, could we could we theoretically build like a straight hallway over here and then an oxygen generator over here? That might not be the craziest thing in the world, actually. The more and more I think about it, it might not be the craziest thing in the world. Huh. Alright, well we can fit a greenhouse in there, even though the land is sort of clipping through it, which is uh, fine, I guess, for all intents and purposes. A-OK -okay with me. As long as it fits, then... It can exist, I guess. And this is going to half our food consumption, which is actually going to be really, really helpful. Uh, astronaut, you can go around here, actually. Come around here? Can you manage to come around here? Can we even access this area? I don't really know if we can. Okay. Why did you not take a crate? Was I just being an idiot? Okay. You take that crate, you stick that there. Happy days. Okay, that's good. That's going to sort us out. 
Uh, yeah, I don't really want to... Okay, you managed to... Uh... I don't know what the hell you did, but there's an astronaut now stuck inside, which is kind of nice. All right, great. Um, yeah, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? We want to do something in regards to the oxygen generator issue. Ah, uh, what do we want to do with that? I, I don't really know. I, I don't really know where we want to stick another oxygen generator, really. Hallway, straight hallway here? No, that doesn't fit, so... Over there? don't really know um let's look on the bright side our population isn't too low to support the colony right now stick it up here let's try and stick it up there and perhaps we can get a habitat on the top of here and an oxygen oxygen generator just at the side that would be ideal how do i get access to that astronaut i have no idea why they're being so daft this greenhouse has got very very low oxygen it's because this door isn't open yeah, I haven't, I haven't decided to open it yet. So we're still losing food, which is uh, a problem, actually. Okay, you now just you walk through the buildings. That's cool. That's cool too, man. Um, units, not that one. Not that one, but that one. Okay, you'll just walk through this one over here. That's that's kind of nice, I guess. That's fine. Do what you please. Um, I, I clearly am at the boss of you. You can do what you want, man. You can absolutely do what you want. All right, um... Where's our other astronaut gone? Okay, I need you to pick up a supply crate. Pick up a supply crate. We're running low on food. We need to get this greenhouse online pretty much yesterday. Uh, so come and build me a darned oxygen generator over here. You're an automate, so you're going to assist as soon as you're done. That's great. Okay. Please come and help out over here. Like, literally, please. That's That's all I ask of you. I don't even think we're going to manage to fit a habitat on over here, which is a little bit of a bummer, but um, you know what? Needs must. Needs must. We can't We can't be picky about this. We really can't be. Um, and I feel fairly confident in opening this area up now. When there's no colonists around to mess things up. Fingers crossed oxygen is alright. Obviously, this is the most... Uh, Okay, so thin thin is not great. We don't really want thin oxygen. I mean, it's still pretty low over here. That's not something we really want. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's not good. It's not good, actually. It's not good at all. Let's close these doors up. Let's close these doors up. Uh, we need to find a way of resolving this. Uh, we need to find a way of resolving it fairly fast, actually, because otherwise we're going to be at a food shortage, and that's not something I'm very happy about. That's not something I'm very happy about at all. Let's launch this rocket and send it home, and we're going to run out of food right now. Uh, well, okay, people are going to die because we've got too many astronauts. Colonists are dying from starvation. Would you expect anything different from a normal potato video? Would you really expect anything different? I, I wouldn't if I was you. I wouldn't. I would just expect me to be completely incompetent of, of playing any games. Um, population is too low to support the colony. I know. I know this. We stick a greenhouse there. We could do, but that's going to completely inhibit our, our route. Well, we're only on minus one food now, so we've only got one more astronaut to die. A colonist to die, should I say. And now we've got three astronauts, and we can easily sustain their amount of food. Which is nice, I guess. But now our colony is just completely unprepared for anything that's going to hit us. Next launch available. Well, you know what? We're going to be taking some more colonists on that launch, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. An astronaut has died from starvation. Why? A fire has consumed an oxygen generator. That's, that's a little bit of a worry. Well, you can get on repairing that right now. Yeah, we need to, we need to sort our situation out. We need to sort it out fairly quickly. Population is too low to support the colony. I'm acutely aware of this game. Thank you very much for reminding me. Um, we need to find some way of getting oxygen down here. Like that's pretty much it. That's what we need to do. Um, yeah, let's let's come over here. Come over here. Come over here. We need to we need to fix this. We need to fix it now. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try a whole bunch of stuff. Let's try building this here. Seeing if that works. 
So it's still accessible, I think. Oh. Oh, that's that's broken. That's why that dude's going down there. Okay, so what? Why? I don't understand why, you, why you're not following exactly as I'm saying. Um, no, we need another supply crate. Solar panels need repair and maintenance. Oh, God, really? Why are you not moving? Okay, so you'll move... Why, why don't you want to move? You're very, very picky with the way that you you walk. I must say, not enough power. Repair that over there. Repair this over here. Otherwise, we're going to have food shortages, which would be terrible. Yeah, we need more solar panels as well. I'm aware of this. I'm aware of this. A blight has spoiled our food reserves. I knew that would happen. I fucking knew it. It's always food. It's fucking always food. I want to launch a rocket, right? But I don't want to launch a rocket until we've resolved this power issue. Okay. You need to go over here and get that. Open this up to the world. Get some oxygen in there. Now, can we build an oxygen generator over here? That's the real question. I don't know if we can. I don't think we can really don't... Th where, where the hell do we build one, then? Where the hell do we build one? A recycling center is ruptured. Okay, um... We just need to take... We just need to take a shit ton of food, then, I guess. We just need to take a shit ton of food, because there's, no there's nothing that we can do. Unless we want to move this entire rocket pad over by one. I think, in fact, you know what? I think that's actually what we're gonna have to do. You know what? Destroy this rocket pad. Cannot destroy one hole in the box. Well, you know what? Build a fucking pallet first. All right. Solar panels need repair and maintenance. Get on repairing the solar panels, please, buddy. We're gonna destroy this launch pad. Okay. Do you want destroy it? Destroy. Why won't you destroy? Methane boil off. I don't give a shit about methane boil off. We're minus three power. Holy shit! What the? What the fuck are you doing? I... No, 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 not that one. Not that one, not that one. I want you to destroy this one. Destroy launch pad? I guess we just can't destroy the launch pad. Which is slightly problematic for us, actually. We're doing okay for power now. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, I guess our launch pad is around forever. I guess it's just one of those things that we just cannot destroy. No, 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 don't destroy that one, don't destroy that one, don't destroy that one. Okay, um, well, we're slightly screwed for oxygen over here. Okay, um, astronaut, please, thank you. Can you get over here? Can you destroy this block, please? I don't know why you, you, you only want to path in certain directions, in certain ways. I really don't understand that. It does not make sense to me. Um, look, if I, if I walk you over here, you, you seem to be fine. You do seem to be fine occasionally. It just doesn't make sense why you work in such mysterious ways. Um, yeah, I mean, we need an auction generator over here. Oh, oh, that's good. That looks like it worked. That looks like it absolutely worked. We do that. Can we manage to replicate that? I mean, it was. It did look like it worked. I placed the blueprint. So why, why, why the hell won't it work again? Confusing. Uh oh, okay. Well, basically, you can see our predicament right now. We're in an interesting situation where we've sort of not got enough of anything. We're waiting on... Well, we're not waiting on the launch at all, but we're we're trying to resolve... Can we connect that up there? I don't think we can connect that up there. It's worth it's worth a try to sort of glitch it out or whatever, but it didn't really seem to work. All right, let's, let's try something. Let's try something. Let's destroy this. Let's build this over here. Build that there. What the hell is going on? How did I manage to do that? Fairly certain I shouldn't have managed to do that. I'll be honest with you. Let's build a hallway there instead. 
Uh, and let's try and build an oxygen generator on here. No, I don't. I don't think we're gonna manage. No, I, I, I don't think we are. I'm afraid that we're not gonna manage to do that, which is a real issue for us. Um, it means that we're not gonna be able to effectively service this area. Um, what we can try and do, what we can try and do is we can, can we build another auction generator up here? Build it like right next to each other? Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, double the oxygen coming in here, we might be able to force a little bit more oxygen down this way. I'm not entirely sure how the, the mechanics of oxygen generators actually work, but certainly worth a try. Uh, let's send you on your way, let's refuel you, launch you up, let's build that, and then quickly build a solar panel. Because we're going to have power issues very, very shortly. Build that. Stick that in there. Stick it in there. Now. Stick it in. There. There we go. Fine. We're sorted for power issues. Okay, so now if I open up these doors, we should manage to get a little bit more oxygen. I mean, ideally we want our oxygen everywhere to be nominal. That's what we want. Population is too low to support the colony. Believe me, game. Thank you for reminding me. I am very, very aware of, of the lack of my population to support the colony. Yeah, this, this area really isn't looking good for oxygen. We've opened up all of the doorways. There's not much we can do. Fire is consumed in oxygen generator. Ah, yeah, who gives a shit? There's nobody on the colony at the moment anyway. It's just this... Okay, so you know what? We get away with it. We get away with it barely. We get away with it barely, barely, barely. I mean... That's very, very dodgy. It's very, very dodgy indeed. Not entirely sure if I'm happy with that. Hmm. You'll have to let me know. What do you think we should do? Do you think we should, like, just destroy this stuff? And try and do it a little bit better? Or... Oh, wait a minute. That went up to 10%. Oh, that's fine. Fire is consumed in an auction generator. Just fix this. Fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Perfect. Alright, great. Let's make sure that we get some colonists in the next episode so that our, our place doesn't continue to fall into complete disrepair. I mean, 10% is, is just not bad, I suppose. It's all right. It's passable. It's doable. We can live with 10%. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over Potato. Hopefully, you'll tune in next time for some more Sol Zero Mars conversation. Until then, bye.